Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm at Irvine Lake and boy, things have changed. This lake has been closed for the longest time. Only recently was it reopened to shore fishing. This used to be a favorite lake of mine for kayak fishing. So it's great to be back, even if it's only for shore fishing. One of the biggest changes is now vehicles aren't allowed on this road and it was over a mile's walk just to get to the fishing spot. Got off to a late start today. I didn't arrive until late morning and because of the long walk, it was close to noon before I actually started fishing. But here I've hooked into a nice little rainbow trout. Ryan is here with me on this gloomy day. There he is in the foreground at the top right corner of your screen. We tried all sorts of methods to catch fish today, from inflated night crawlers to mice tails, but the only thing that seemed to work was power bait. And here I've hooked into my second fish of the day. The fish were fairly close to shore. We were only casting out 15 to 20 feet and these fish were biting. Although these fish weren't very big, they fought quite hard. And because I was using two pound test, I loosened up the drag, so I sped up the footage here since it took me a little longer than usual to land the fish. This third fish was kind of funny. I had a power bait sitting in the water for over 15 minutes, so I decided to check my line. And the minute I start reeling it in, I get a reaction bite out of this trout who just slams the bait. If you're curious, I'm using these owner stinger hooks, these trout tiny trouble hooks, which are great for power bait. Because it's super sharp, once a fish chomps on the power bait, they get hooked instantly. It works like a charm. Again, it took a little longer to bring this guy in because I had to loosen my drag since I was using two pound test, but boy, they're fun to catch. This gentleman was fishing about 50 yards to the right of us and he was just landing fish after fish. So I had to walk over to see what he was catching and it turns out he was targeting carp. And look at the size of this one. He weighed over 12 pounds and this was fish number seven for this angler. He truly is a carp specialist. The gear he was using was very different from all the other anglers on the lake. You'll see the size of that net, for example. It's like a halibut net, it was huge. And the fishing pole, it was like a surf rod. It was about 12 to 15 feet long, but it worked. Well, here we are, close to closing time for the lake, and Ryan's luck changes for the better as he hooks into this really nice rainbow trout. Now, this guy put up quite the fight, and it was a challenge bringing him in because this fish swam into structure or grass or something because it was really difficult bringing this guy in. He put up quite the fight, and in the end, Ryan caught the biggest fish of the day. This guy was close to 15 inches in length. Here I've sped up the footage only because he swam in the structure so it took a little longer than usual to reel him in but look at the size of this guy. He is chunky. Good sized rainbow trout. Well this was a really nice return to Irvine Lake. Thanks you guys for watching and if you haven't done so yet please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. 